guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm dyeing my hair again today. I know, big shocker. Doesn't look that bad on camera. In real life, the money side on the, well you can kind of see it. This is like green, seaweedy green. You can see it more in contrast to the blue. That's the rest of my hair. I can't go out in public like this. So, I'm gonna dye my hair again. So today is not going to be a huge transformation video or anything because I only just did that whole transformation the day before yesterday. So today is just going to be more focused on fixing this and making it blue rather than aqua because it just, it's just so different to the colour underneath my hair. So you can kind of see what I mean now, I think. This is all blue and this is more green. I'm bored and stressed. And hair dye is a great method for me of stress relief, so here we go again. I already know I have an addiction, let's not even go there. So today I'm thinking I'm going to dye this peach and this, try and make this blue again. I don't know, we're going to try it. Orange and blue are opposite on the colour wheel, so I think that it would be really cute to have really opposing hair. Just conditioner, and now let's add some colour. So for the peach side of my head, I'm going to be using Shrine Peach. You guys know I've used this before. I really love it, so I don't see the point in changing. If something works, then keep using it. Wow, clearly I have kept on using it because I can't get any actual product out of the bottle. Clearly need to buy a new one of these. I think I might have run out, so I'm just going to have to sort of go like this. And I'm gonna mix that and see how that looks. And then if not, I will try and get some more out. Not sure any more is gonna come out, but you know, try. So there's that much right now. It looks like a really pretty color. I'm just not sure it's gonna cover up. Yeah, no, so I need a lot more pigment. I'm gonna put some water in here, mix it up and add all of that. We definitely just got a little bit more pigment gonna mix it up again and if I need to yeah we got um we got that much more or this may be enough because that looks more promising still looks pretty light but see I'm gonna try and get a little bit more pigment out just to make sure it really does cover I'm not sure but that looks pretty good so I'm gonna leave it now and mix up my blue colour. So blue, I don't feel like Shrine Blue is going to really stain because it hasn't so far. So I'm going to go in with Peacock Blue by Crazy Colour. Diluted a lot with conditioner because this, this stains. Oh, that's such a pretty blue. Look at that. That is perfect. I don't want to waste too much dye because I didn't mix up loads, but that's the orange and that's the blue. They're both really, really pretty. And I want them on my head. I'm going to add in just a tiny bit more of peacock blue though, just to make sure that it is dark enough. And at this point I may as well just get the rest of the pigment out of the bottle. That looked perfect. Okay, so it is quite a bit darker than the original blue, but that is perfect. Use my shades. I'm just going to try and re-wet my hair a bit. And I'm going to start with peach, just because I want this to sit longer, so that it definitely covers up. Yeah, so I think the bottom will. I'm not sure that the top's going to cover. I'm just going to go in with this dye anyway and pray that it works. Because I really think that the peach and blue, because they're just such opposing colours, will look 
sec. Let's see. It looks like it's reinvigorating the pink. Not what I wanted. Not what I expected. Yeah, so this is pink. Let's just check. It looks peach on camera. In real life, I'm not so sure. I'm gonna continue with it for now and I can always just re-dye this whenever I want with, I don't know, maybe like a different peach colour because I clearly can't reuse shrine. That's gone. I think this side's gonna come out coral, which is gonna also look pretty cool. Okay, so for now, I'm going to move on to the blue side of my hair and then I'm going to decide what to do because that's still pink. On to blue. Okay, blue side is going so much, so much better than the other side. This actually is my perfect blue shade that I wanted the other day, which is amazing. Obviously all of the underneath of this side is already blue, but I'm gonna just run this dye through to refresh it to try and even out the color a bit. This is going to be like a perfect sky blue, isn't it? I really hope so. That is just what I want. It might fade exactly the, other, the way that the other one did. But I just don't... I don't know. I had a tiny bit left of that dye. And I decided to use it up. So I have other dyes. And I'm going to mix them in to try and make the pigment a little bit stronger. And maybe cover it. So I have peachy coral. That's very light, so I don't think that's going to do much. So I also have Orange by Crazy Colour. And I'm just going to mix a little bit of the pigment in, to just the remainder of the mixture. Okay, Peachy Coral looks very pink, which isn't helping my situation. I'm going to level. The dye looks the same colour. I know, it's definitely got more orange pigment in. That's the initial one, that's the new one. Still not sure that this is going to work, I just wanted to try something to give it more of a chance of working, rather than giving up on what I want. I guess you could call it stubbornness. I prefer determination. Okay, I'm wiping away the dye. And I don't know, it still looks sort of the same colour. But I'm going to try anyway. And put this on my head how have I only just noticed that I've got blue on my cheek well that's gonna stain I think it's time to admit defeat so and I'm just like pulling the dye away to see how the hair's gonna look and it looks pretty corally red corally ready pinky okay I don't know but it doesn't just look pink anymore so we did something I'm gonna go, I'm only gonna let this process for like maybe 10 minutes because I don't care if the colours are dead vibrant. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and clean my hands. I might just put orange dye all over them. You know, orange and blue are opposite on the colour wheel, see what colour they go. 
hopefully normal. I will see you guys, I don't know, when this is, some point when this is rinsed out. I think the contrast of the warm and the cold colours is so cool. That's one thing I'm really digging right now. So this is my hair. Anyone else getting sort of a lava and water vibes? I don't know. My boyfriend said about fire and ice, but I feel like ice would be more white. I'm not sure, but I'm definitely getting like lava and water vibes. And I think that it is so cool because the colors conflict so much. It is really cool. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today by watching this video. I really enjoyed it and I hope you did too. If you did, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and commenting down below what do you think of my new look. Do you like it? And subscribe. I mean, why wouldn't you want to subscribe? Join my little hair dye family. I upload a lot. I change my hair a lot. So if you like hair dye, come on over there. Subscribe. Join the fam. We'd love to have you here. So please do let me know what you think of my new look. Um, what should we call this look? The underwater volcano look? Because of lava and water? I really hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you very soon in a brand new video. Until then, stay colourful. Bye!